welcome back to Small Tubers. So for today's video, the Small Tubers team is going to be doing the Would You Rather question tag challenge. Um, so basically, I'm just going to be um, basically just reading all these questions and saying um, if I would or wouldn't do this. And by the way, guys, if you um, have subscribed to me on my main channel, I've been like really, really inactive on there. I just haven't really had time to film because I've had quite a lot of homework and stuff. And um, I'm just having like a bit of a break, but there should be a video out this weekend, hopefully. So let's get into the video. First one is, would you rather experience the beginning of planet Earth or the end of the planet Earth? I'd yeah. rather experience the beginning of it because I feel like in the end, everybody, everything is going to be like horrible, like already, it's very violent. Personally, I'd experience the end because like, I can't live without Snapchat and Instagram. I don't know whether you guys can, but I literally cannot live without it. Back in the olden times, I don't know, before Victorians and all that stuff, you didn't even have coloured TVs, like, what do you mean? I would actually, like, want to experience the beginning of planet Earth because I feel like there's a lot of things that I can do and that I can explore, and by the end of, like, planet Earth, it's going to be very tragic and everyone's going to be very sad and it's just going to be chaotic, so no. <laughs> Okay, this is quite hard. So, at the beginning, I feel like it'd be quite cool because you'd be the first people on Earth. There'd also be less people, like, there'd be things to be discovered. But, like, at the end of the Earth, everything's been invented, and I feel like it'd be quite cool to feel like, to see, like, what it'd be like. But I think I'm just gonna have to go with the beginning. But obviously, the beginning of planet Earth, like, I've been taught about, but. Probably like the end of it because it'll be like way way different and it'll probably be like more exciting to be honest uh, So I'll probably experience the end of um, planet earth Honestly, I would rather experience the end of planet earth. I feel like it'd have more action and I feel like It just more fun to experience than the beginning of planet earth And I would much rather prefer the beginning of earth because if you were alive before earth formed you would still be alive when you were on earth but if you experience Earth like ending, you're pretty much dead straight after because Earth is like the only planet that we can live on. Oh my gosh, that's really hard because in the beginning you had to live off of nothing, you know, and then the end you literally are going through like torture, if that makes any sense, I don't know. So probably the beginning. And the second question is, would you rather speak all languages or be able to speak to all animals? Okay, so maybe like... I do like travel kind of quite a lot, like holidays and stuff. Like I do go to quite like far places, and that's a bit of a hard one because like I don't know because like I would love to speak to animals as well. Um, maybe speak to animals because I'd rather be able to speak all languages because I feel like that's more efficient. I like animals, but I'd rather like be able to talk to people. I would rather be able to speak to animals because I feel it, it isn't possible that you could speak all languages but it'd be very 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 difficult most people would say speak all languages I'm pretty sure but I would much rather prefer to speak to animals because I just love animals I love all animals definitely be able to speak to all animals because I don't really care much about speaking a different language like just saying I really don't but because I just want to talk to animals like talking to my dogs would be so much fun I think I would choose to speak all languages Speak all languages because, to be honest, I'm not really that bothered about speaking to animals, so I'm going with the languages one. So would you rather not shower for a week? Or wear the same clothes for a week? I'd rather wear the same clothes for a week because I like taking showers. And even though I like fashion a lot and I like switching up my clothes, I just wear the same clothes for a week. If I didn't shower for a week, my hair would be... I can't even imagine. And I would smell so bad, I would feel sweaty, I would feel gross the whole week. So there's no way I couldn't shower for a week. Like, that's not, no. So definitely wear the same clothes for a week. Because I could wash them every day. I would much rather wear the same clothes for a week because I would just not be able to last not showering. I'm pretty sure I would pick um, not be able to shower for a week because you can change clothes and I, and that's still, F, it's, I don't <laughs> probably wear the same clothes for a week because like that's basically the same type of thing but probably just wear the same clothes for a week I don't I don't know actually I don't think I'd want to wear the same clothes so again I'm gonna have to go with the first one not shower for a week 
Okay, I would rather wear the same clothes for a week because I cannot stand not showering because my hair is super greasy and I just feel like so disgusting. So, it doesn't say that you can't take your clothes off and wash them. So what you could do when you go to sleep, wash your clothes, wear them in the morning again, and repeat for a week. With a shower, your hair gets greasy, you start to smell, and um, I'm just not having that, so yeah, I'd have to wear the same clothes for a week. Would you rather never be able to speak again? Or never stop speaking, and I would rather never been able to speak again, because you can get around things like that with sign language, and if you could non-stop talk, you wouldn't be able to sleep, and you wouldn't be able to eat, because you'd just be talking. Um, I would would choose to never be able to stop talking because I already talk a lot. So if I was like could never speak, I wouldn't be able to express like um, like express how I feel to people. Never being able to stop speaking. So at least I get to speak. I get to amplify my voice out. I get to like say all my thoughts out, even though I'm gonna be very annoying. But yeah. Personally, I hate people who do that, who just constantly start talking, like just shut up for a minute. Do you know what I'm trying to say? But yeah, I'd rather not talk and keep myself to myself. You can always get those voice operator things or whatever it is. Just start typing on the iPad and be like, yes, that's what I want. <laughs> Do you know what I'm trying to say? Probably well, never be able to stop talking because like, if you can never speak again, you just can't communicate with anyone to be honest. Um, if I couldn't speak again, I think I would die because I talk way too much, you know? Um, probably never be able to stop talking even though I annoy annoy everyone. Um, I would rather non-stop talk because I like to talk <laughs> and sing so I can't sing if I can't talk so. Well, believe me, I would not. I don't know how to survive if I couldn't speak ever again. So I'm gonna go with never be able to stop talking. <laughs> Which I feel like it's going to be very annoying. The last um, would you rather is would you rather be rich and not happy? Or happy but poor. I would much rather be happy and poor because if you're happy, life is good. Even though you may not have a lot of money, all that matters is you're happy and that you're loving life. So I would much rather be poor but happy. I think like being rich would be amazing but that's not purpose in life. Like purpose in life is to be happy and my religion is Christian slash Catholic. I'm a Catholic slash Christian. So um, our purpose in my eyes and you know, is to get to heaven and be happy in this world. Probably like happy because I'm um, happy but poor because like obviously you don't want to be like rich but you want to be like really sad because then obviously that could lead like something else. This is pretty self-explanatory i would rather be poor and happy be i'd rather be like happy but poor because i mean happiness you cannot use money to like measure it or even buy it because happiness is within yourself and also your surrounding and if i'm happy but like i'm sad what's the point of life even what's the point of having money because you're not going to be satisfied with your life anyways money is not everything in the world like happiness and things like that comes from you not money, you don't need money to be happy, so it's obviously I'd, I'd be poor but happy because I'd rather have a smile on my face with no money than be down on time and have literally everything. I don't know because I know if you're like happy it's good but like I wouldn't want to be poor. Like it depends how poor you mean. If you just mean like average, like I'm fine with that. But like... I don't know. Rich, to be rich would be quite cool, I'm not going to lie. But like, I wouldn't want to be sad, so I'm going to have to go with happy and poor. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe on YouTube. Um, make sure to subscribe to Small Tubers. We just like to quickly let you know that Small Tubers will be taking a break for about a week, I think they said. So make sure you do stay active when we do upload our next video. Let's see if we can get 25 likes on this Small Tubers video. Subscribe to this channel as we have loads of exciting content coming up for you guys. And we'll see you all in our next video. Peace out. I love you guys. Bye guys. All the other small tubers that were on this video are linked down below. So I hope you all enjoyed it. And yeah, bye guys. All the team will see you guys in the next video. Bye. I've been Callum G. You guys have been awesome. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.